My name is Kristen Berry. I'm with a company called Gale Force Sailing and uh, I'm here coaching a Blue Nose and in addition to that I'm working with the Chester Yacht Club's uh, protest committee to handle arbitration for the A Fleet. Alright, so how would you sum up today, the first day of race week? Oh, it was amazing. I, like I mentioned, I'm on the Blue Nose fleet, so we've got 25, or at, at least 24, but I think 25 boats on the line. Uh, breeze was fairly consistent throughout the day with, uh, you know, up and down pressure and a little bit of uh, variation in the angle, which made for great tactical racing. Uh, boat speed was a big issue, and, and uh, with 25 boats on the line, it's always crowded. Uh, but the Blue Nose fleet sailed pretty clean, and, and it was just a ton of fun. Um, we got we in our second race there were a bunch of uh, general recalls which shows that that the fleet's really pushing the line and trying to be as competitive as, as possible and uh, it was mixed up at the top of the fleet I think probably four or five different boats have top three finishes at least so it's it's really neat to see that is there any particular highlights that stand out or interesting events that occurred uh, yeah sailing in Chester that's what stands out <laughs> uh, I think everybody was dreading today uh, if they looked at yesterday's forecast and uh, because it's race week, the wind gods and the sun gods have smiled on us and given us a perfect day. Um, and so, I don't know, just being out here is, is what it's all about. Great. Was there any um, close calls that you witnessed or any interesting... Yeah, there were there were a few little fouls here and there, nothing big. Um, I think boats on the start line are, are failing to recognize that when there's a boat to lure of them, they have to keep clear. Um, but that's common in any fleet, and, and uh, the nice thing about the Blue Nose fleet, and I think most of the fleets here in Chester, is there's not a whole lot of screaming. So you give the, the person to windward of you, hey, why don't you come up, and if they don't, you sort of bail out and off you go and sort it out on the race course. So um, it, was, it's, it was a good day. Great. And what about uh, the speed generally, like the, the amount of wind there was? Was it a slow race or a quick race? Oh, not at all. No, it was, it was actually perfect for a blue nose. So flat water and I would say 7 to 10 knots of breeze all day long. And if you found pressure, you were passing a lot of boats. Um, and so it was, it was really a, a tactician's day in many ways. Um, because if you had your boat going in the right direction, you could make big gains. And it didn't take long to go the wrong direction before somebody else was around you. So, um, you know, it was, it was straight out of the textbook. Boat speed and, and good tactics and nothing magical. Just keep your boat going in the right direction all the time and you got up near the top. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you.